newness happening. And I don't know about you, but on all the craziness of the holidays and the frantic, frantic shopping I was doing last week up until literally midnight on Monday night when my husband was fast asleep, not a calendar moved. Is that how it works in your house? Because that's exactly how it works in my house. I did start to notice there's some fun new things coming our way just in time for the holiday season. And probably more importantly, one thing we're always thinking about in Everies is how to make sure that what you're buying is versatile and fabulous. So we are going to talk about one of my favorite new trends that is happening this season and is going to be all the rage as we go into spring and summer, and that is the wide leg pants. Now, I wanted to talk about this particularly because I know this one can be a tricky one. We have been getting these from skinnies into straights, and now we're talking wide. What the heck? I get it. I hear you. This can be maybe a little bit of an intimidating trend, and I want to make it easy for you. There's so many ways to do it. It can be so flattering. It's all about finding that right bottom. So I've got some great new wide legs and, of course, some fabulous fun new tops that we can pair back and some styling tips along the way. So starting from the very beginning, we're going to talk about my look. Now, I've popped this on because I know that for many of you, you are holidaying somewhere warm. And when it gets warm, we're not ready for sweaters. We're not looking for velvet. We're just looking for fun, festive, easy pieces and maybe something a little more casual. So. Starting from the top, this amazing tee, very much like that tee I wore a couple weeks ago that you guys were gaga over from Nation. This is a new version with this great little flounce sleeve and a fun little floral print. Check it out. So cute, dainty, not too sweet, but just enough of a print, I think, that it keeps it from being too, too flat. A little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Now, it also comes in a solid, so if you are more of a solid gal, yummy yummy kind of slate gray and then of course that perfect winter white if you are looking for that absolute quintessential easy tea so printed solid solid any way you do it now i love this guy paired back to denim i'm wearing this brand new wide leg jean this is the trouser jean from citizens of humanity now the reason i love this guy is because of the wash. It's gonna carry us from winter all the way through spring and summer. It makes your legs look about a mile long, and I don't know about you, but coming off of that Thanksgiving weekend, I'm feeling like I need a little bit more room in my pants, and these guys give it to you. That's one of the reasons that wide leg is so great. It's going to be starting and be more relaxed from your hip all the way down. Now. There are so many variations of wide leg. You can do this version, right? More of a trouser, a true kind of wider straight as you go down. You can do a flare and you can even do a crop. I'm gonna actually talk about one of my favorite, favorite pants and sneak peek. We've got all of our style crew wearing them in the upcoming weeks. It is the Beth pant. You know this fabrication. This is that yummy, yummy stretch sateen from every you've seen it in our utility pant you've seen it in a cargo and now we've got it in this quintessential wide leg this is a take me to work take me to dinner take me home kind of pant now it comes in not one two not three but four colors green this yummy peacock a fabulous rusty red and of course everybody's tried and true favorite a black how does it fit i think this guy runs true to size but stretches. So I went down a size in this. I felt most comfortable. I'm going to bet my bottom dollar that Mel feels best in her normal size. So depending on how you kind of felt in that Ever Eve utility pant, if you went down or wore your normal size, I'd go the same route here. Just remember, this guy stretches. And so for me, in the sateen fabric, I always go down because it stretches just enough that I get a little saggy tush, and I hate that in pants. Now this is a more cropped version, shorter length, always the question, how do I style it? Lots and lots of ways to wear this, and we're gonna run through some ideas, including kind of starting with some of these knit tops. Can you go over your jeans again, Ivy? Yes, this is a Citizens of Humanity trouser jean. Gang, are we loving these or what? Now, they are long, long, long. There are some long-legged lovelies who are here with me today doing live that try this jean on, and they, 
You got a little bit more foot poking out of it than I do. I put on that hazel heel in navy just to give me more length when I bring these home, and I am gonna bring these home. I've already decided it happened. I put them on and I knew it was dangerous, but I'm doing it anyway. I probably am gonna hem these just a smidge so I can get away with wearing them with a clog or even like a little bit of an elevated slide as we go into spring and summer. I think it'll make it easier for me. I think one of the things that can be tricky about flares is the hem and how long or how short to wear them. One of the fun things I think that is happening now is that flares and wide legs don't need to be floor grazing the way that they were when we wore them last. Good question. Great question. Do yes. you wear heels with those jeans? I mean, I am, and that's why I kind of love it. This is The reason I popped this outfit together and taking inspiration from our e-commerce stylist, Courtney, is that this dresses it up just a little bit. I felt like this would be a fun, Maybe people over for holiday cocktails, maybe a casual girls night out during the holidays, maybe your book club or a little gift exchange. It feels festive because of that red on the top and like the kind of fun flare and popping on a heel. I also, when I first put this on, I actually had on the red hazel, which I think would be so cute. And it dresses it up just a little bit. Now, I also think for someone who's more petite, wearing a heel with a wider leg or a flare helps give some height in a fuller length. Now in a shorter length, you can really go either way. There's kind of no rules. And that's why I love that Beth. I think this guy looks as good with a sneaker, a loafer, or a heel as it does barefoot. Kind of any, anything goes here because it's more of an ankle length. With the jeans you're wearing now, do they have a little bit of a stretch mm. on your heel? Truth they must, you? yes, they must have stretch. Court, do we know if they have stretch? Yeah. They do. They do. Yeah, it feels like it. They feel too good not to have stretch. They're kind of dreamy. I mean real dreamy. And they're high rise, but not crazy high rise, gang. So, you know, I've got a really high belly button, but they're not feeling like rib cage high, high rise, so still really comfy for this time of year. Like other ways to kind of pair this back if you're just going to wear an easy little knit. Another really fun top from Nation. I mean, they are knocking it out of the park. If you need just a great knit top that has a little bit of personality to it, a little bit of style and flair, this is your winner. Now this guy is the Tamira Elizabeth and Top. Now, difference between the two, I think this flounce guy, all the action, right, is in the sleeve and it's a crew neck. I know many of you prefer a more open neck. I love that too if you're a little bit curvier, just give yourself a little bit more openness. I also think if you're really petite, having a more open V neckline really helps to open you up. This guy is fantastic because it's not too low, but still has some of that really fun detail and a puff sleeve. So it comes in blue, again, that yummy winter white, and then black. Statement making, easy to throw on, and black back to a lighter wash jean would be so chic. Or pair it back to one of the great colors in that level 99 black, and you've got a really put together look. So fun. Kind of last knit top, and this one is a little sneaker for me. This is from Sundry. This is an every only style. When I first saw this online, I thought it was a blouse. And to my happy, happy surprise, it is a knit top. So yummy and so easy. After coming off a really fun holiday weekend where we hosted and hosted and hosted again, I learned my lesson, I get hot in the kitchen. So I'm always looking for something that's easy to pop on and isn't 25 layers as I'm standing in front of the oven and serving and dishing up and moving dishes around and all the things. This to me is such an easy answer to that, right? A little bit dressy because of that fun ruching around the neckline and the sleeve. Breathable because it's a knit. Unexpected color so it doesn't go too casual. And then pairing it back to kind of a fun little Beth pant again. Or if you really want to dress it up, this is when I go to one of my tried and true black pants. So the first pant I kind of want to talk about that I think is really fun and easy and very transitional is the Spanx pull-on. Now this guy, very similar to the jean that I have on, full length. It is long. I mean, for long mamas, more of that ponty fabrication. So if you're looking at pant that will hold you in tight, this guy does all the things. I would for sure need to get this puppy hemmed. Bless her heart, the model that we had that wore this for our photo shoot, we actually had to let the hem out. I cannot imagine a world where my legs were so long that my pants needed to have the hem let out. I mean, 
she, she's got gifted legs, I'll say that much for sure. But what I love about these is that because they're more of a straight wide leg, even if you have to hem them like I would, you're not gonna lose that shape, which I know sometimes can be tricky when you've got more of a flare. So really, really yummy pant, pull on, tons of stretch, paired back to this, and it's a really put together easy look that'll move with you and kind of take you wherever you need to go. I was wondering if that has pockets, can you clip it? Mm, yeah, it does, which is one of the reasons I love these. So my beef always with that kind of like legging as a pant debate is that what I call that like run on sentence behind where there's nothing to break it up and nothing to give you shape. That's one of the reasons I love this Sphinx pant is because of that great faux pocket detail that really helps to give you a nice behind, quite honestly. Really it accentuates your butt in a really good way. Also that yoke panel in the back, also another shape maker, shape flatterer, so really pretty. And then this front seam, you'd think like, you can hardly see it, what is that doing for me? Just makes those legs look a million miles long. A absolute winner. I just shot my stories for Saturday today and I was talking about those pieces you have in your closet you just wear over and over and over again. You just reach for them and reach for them. This Sphinx pant is absolutely one of those. You're gonna feel like a million bucks in it, look like a million bucks in it, and it is going to be an absolute wardrobe workhorse. Such a good one. Okay. What if you want to dress it up just a smidge, right? We're thinking festive, we're thinking holiday, we want to do something that feels a little bit more in the spirit. I've got a couple fantastic blouses that you can pair back to these wide legs that are going to look so great. Starting with cloth and stone. Now you might have seen this last weekend. We had an email blast featuring it. This is such a Donner of a blouse. Now, animal print, easy, right? It's our neutral, just like camo, we wear it anywhere, everywhere, all the time. What I think makes this blouse so fantastic is the weight of it and the detail. So you can see, this guy is a little bit sheer, really lightweight, a beautiful drape. You can wear either like your nude or black bra underneath or just a simple little cami if you want more coverage. What I think is so pretty about this is all that great ruched detail in the back. So flattering and so pretty on. And again, for those who want more of an open V, this is a great blouse to wear. Now, how to style this? I'm gonna actually pop this guy on so we can talk about this. When I have a wide leg pant, I think it's all about proportion. What can make wide leg pants tricky is when you go big on top and then you've got this wider pant on bottom. Kind of throws off the balance of your look, makes you feel a little bit I guess top heavy and bottom heavy, and we want to help get a proportion. And I think this to me has been one of the trickiest learnings of this season as our jean silhouettes have changed, is that we're so used to skinnies, right? And kind of with skinnies, anything goes. Big, fitted, up, down, doesn't matter. When we start to get into a straight or more of a wide, that proportion really makes a difference. I'm putting a shirt on backwards. Literally, I was just about to put this shirt on backwards. If my girlfriend Amy here, she's watching this. I'm thinking about you right now because you wore your shirt backwards when we were together in Nashville. Okay, here we go. So here's that blouse. I'm wearing a small gang. You can see that the fit is a little bit oversized. Now I have my cami on underneath. I could like leave it open, just have a cami peeking out, or I can button it up just so. Now here's that great detail in the black in the back, that really pretty ruching. Beautiful, right? I think this guy is such a stunner though when you tuck it in. It gives you a waist. It really helps accentuate and balance your look and feels just a little bit more put together. And again, because this blouse is so lightweight, it's an easy tucker. You're not gonna have all that fabric blousing out. Easy one to wear, really pretty. You can dress it up. Now here I am in jeans, right? But if I was to pop on that great Spanx pant, Suddenly I've got this really great elevated look that I think can take you from work to play after so easily. Really versatile, really easy look. If you wanted to do something that had a little bit more detail than that pant, then I would grab this fabulous pant. Megan, our CEO, was wearing this the other day. She looks so chic in it. I love this built-in belt. Gives you a nice little waist detail. Also a really wide leg and it has the faintest of faintest of faintest kind of pinstripe on this fabrication. If you guys can see that, absolutely love that. But I think that belt is what makes it so fun. And then again, you've got great pocket detail, that little bit of yoke to really give you some nice shape in this really fun fluid pant. 
Now I am a fan of wearing this kind of pant, especially with this kind of movement, with a little bit more of a heel. Now it doesn't have to be a stiletto the way that I'm going today. It could be something like this, like this great stacked loafer. This makes pairing look so easy and it's a really comfortable shoe. So no, you don't have to wear a heel with wide leg, but I do like a little bit of height when you have a pant, especially like this one, that's a little bit softer, has a little bit more movement. I think a more structured shoe does that pant a lot of favors and again, helps to balance those proportions. Okay, another couple fun blouses that we've got in the mix. You might have caught Steph's stories a couple weeks ago she was wearing this beautiful blouse it was such a stunner on her kind of sexy with that little cutout if you're not a fan of the cold shoulder or if like an open back or more of a cutout at your chest feels like too much that's one of the reasons i absolutely love a detail like this you get that credit for skin without showing too much now more of almost a mock neck silhouette on this neckline beautiful details in back little buttons and then that keyhole that just sliver of skin in the back that is still really bra friendly and easy to wear the colors in this are so rich now this guy again back to i think this pant would be such an easy day to night look or a fabulous hosting look really lightweight not so hot you know steph always comes in with her fan around her neck she just kills me when she does that i'm hoping she's wearing it to dinner when i go when i go out to dinner with her in two weeks i'm gonna make her wear it we're going to sit together and fan ourselves. That's, that's how it's going to go down. But so, so fun. So easy, easy one to wear. Really flattering. Really pretty. Just kind of one of those do-everything blouses that we need this time of year when we're running to and fro to all those last-minute events. Now, this guy is not mistaking itself for anything but a party top. And bring it on when you wear it. I wanted to show this because it is selling so darn fast. And I want you to get your hands on it before it goes. We've got just a few of these really special sparkle and shine pieces left. This is one of them, and it's so darn good. This is absolutely the top that I was dying for when we shot it for our November catalog. It finally came in at the very end of this month, and here it is. More of a copper color. So those brunettes out there, those of you who have like not my super fair complexion, it would be so stunning. I do also love this on blondes though, so it's a top that just loves everybody. I'm gonna tell you that much for sure. Great V-neck, sheer sleeve, but a fully lined bodice. So no worries about a cami or a tank underneath the sky. Easy one to wear, and then this nice straight hem, so it's an easy, simple one to tuck in. Not overwhelming, not too much. Now. How to keep this dressed up. This is where I'd say go back to your great pants. You could do your Beth in black would be so chic. You could go back to that great Spanx pant, which I think would be so lovely. Or if you really wanted to like turn up the shine, we've got this great little fun pant and more of a satin that's a wide leg that would be so pretty to wear. Now, can you wear shine and shine together? I think you can in this case. Here's why. Different shines, number one. This guy's also based in black, so it's not like I'm wearing a gold lame top that's over the top sparkly with a really sparkly pant. Also, I think the shine on this trouser isn't too overwhelming. It's got just enough, and it's got this great waistband, so it's an easy one to tuck in. Really fun. This, to me, is kind of like wearing pajamas when you're hosting, but looking really put together. Throw on a heel, and you're good to go. So beautiful, one of my favorites. Let's talk about this pan for a hot second. So this guy is from Sanctuary. I want to give you the right name of it. This is the Margot Wide Leg Pant. I'm shocked we still have units in this because this is such a fabulous pant. Pockets, so great to wear. Again, that flat waistband in the front and then your elastic in the back so you know that it's crazy comfortable. And again, that more fluid wide leg. Now, how to wear this guy again i love it with something a little bit of more shine i also love it like with a little sweater vest show your arms in this one because this pan is so fluid again back to that proportion and balance i think because this pan has a much wider leg and definitely has that drape to it i like something that has a little bit more shape on top so you don't drown on top and drown on bottom no matter how tall you are one of my favorite pants. Okay, now let's talk about kind of more casual. So this wide leg pants out there, right? We're loving it, we're starting to think about it. How do we wear it? How do we style it? I mean, 
this jean is an amazing start, but it's also kind of sweater season. So if we're looking to be a little bit festive and add a little bit of color to our closet, but still rock these wide legs, I think a great statement sweater back to a wide leg jean is an easy outfit to wear. So we're gonna start at this fun little capsule of berry colors that's so darn cute. Starting with this brand new sweater, this is from Jameson. I love the like soft pink of this. You've been loving the same color in the Millie. Now we've got it in this Jameson sweater. Why I love this guy, a little bit of a mock neck, great little drop sleeve here, point tail detailing, which I think is so pretty. Now, I like the idea of pairing this back to a lighter jean. I think it's a little bit unexpected and that softness is so lovely, but I also think you can go into something a little bit darker. Now this is a brand new jean we just got in from Hudson. I tried this guy on before live so I could talk to you a little bit about the fit. This is called the Rosy High Rise. Now I put this on my super long torso. I actually felt like this was maybe more of a mid rise. So where I think this is truly, truly a high rise and the citizen hitting me at my waist, much above my hip, this guy hit me more at just my high hips. So if you don't want a super high rise, this is a really nice way to start. Not as wide of a leg as the citizens I have on, so a slightly more narrow wide leg and this darker wash. You can see kind of the difference here in that look. So paired back to light, it feels really soft and kind of icy. Paired back to blue, I think this just makes it clean and classic and a little bit more prepped up. This is more of an ankle length gang where the citizens I have on is a full length. So if you want something that's a little bit shorter, this would be a great go-to jean. They're wondering about the Spanx pants. Yes. If they should size up if they're like leggings, if they, how they fit. And they definitely hug that Spanx pants. So how, like what size to wear. I say wear your normal size just like we give you advice in the Spanx legging. They definitely are a hugger though. So. Don't think that you're gonna have a lot of room to move and groove, but that's what Spanx is for, right? It holds you in, gives you shape, flattens that tummy, lifts that tush. That's one of the reasons I love this pant, but I wore my normal size in this. It just ran real long for me, but through the like, kind of trunk and in the backside, I felt like my normal size was absolutely what I would wear. Don't size down, you won't breathe. Don't size up, it won't do what it's supposed to do, which is kind of hold you in and give you good shape. It's a really good question. Okay, two other fun festive sweaters you can pair back to jeans. The first is this great sweater. This guy is from John and Jen. I want to give you the name of this one. This is the Brooklyn Puff Pullover. Is this not your kind of your quintessential holiday sweater? So fun. All these shades of red in this one, which I absolutely love. Surprisingly lightweight. So if you're one of those people that is kind of sensitive to chunkier sweaters, this is a great one to wear because it's an easy one to throw on not too overwhelming and it's also not super long so again back to that proportion conversation if you're looking for something that's easy to wear with a wide leg or a flare this is a great sweater i actually grabbed this flare from Paige because this is like uber sexy jean now i tried this guy on this is the genevieve flare it is long ladies so if you have long legs a really really great jean to wear i would for sure I mean, I put these on, I was like, I'd have to have these like a good four inches, no problem. But because it's a wide leg flare that really starts pretty much above your knee, you're not gonna have to worry about that boot cut issue that we used to have in years past where you chop off the entire flare. Even if you're a petite, this still works. And one of the things I love about it, it has a trouser finish. So you know what that means? You don't have to do that, like remove the hem, re the hem back on situation that we had to do with our jeans before cheaper alteration, I'm a fan of that. But love this back to that red sweater. I think it's a really nice combination that darker wash is so cheap. Okay, speaking of kind of a sexy look, that's why I grabbed this yummy, yummy chenille sweater. This is that great cold shoulder silhouette. Does absolutely, oh, not good on the hanger. Let me hold it up so you guys can really see. Really pretty cozy sweater. You've got that great open neckline in this softer red so more of a berry tone which i think is really fun for the holidays an easy easy one to pair and again back to that great flare jean how cute would that be as a, i guess more of an unexpected but still kind of spirited holiday look okay now it wouldn't be alive with me if i didn't dive into at least one neutral story i gotta do it we've got so many amazing neutral sweaters 
and they're just knocking it out of the park. And one of the things I love about all of these sweaters is they are dress up, dress down. So I don't know about you, but here was my day yesterday. Got up, brought my one kiddo to school, brought my other kiddo to Spanish, started my work day, running around, didn't even have time to go out and get lunch. Straight from work, I went to a happy hour with my girlfriends, ran home, brought my son to hockey, did a quick little second happy hour with some friends who have their kiddos in the same hockey and got home at night. There was no changing in that day. There was no time to put on a different outfit. So that's why I love a good statement sweater that can get you through the whole day. Couple really fun ones, two different spins on this kind of polo neckline we've been talking about so much. This is from Sanctuary. This guy is definitely more in that cozy vein. Put me by the fire, roast me a marshmallow. I'm all for this in this one. So, so yummy. I'm actually gonna pop this on just so you guys can see it. One of the things I love about this neckline is the way you can play with the zipper. So it's an easy one to kind of pop up and down depending on how much coverage you really want. I love this guy from Sanctuary because this is truly like that ultimate cream cozy sweater for the holidays and this one i think because it is not a super long length is also an easy one to wear back to your fun wide leg pants now here it is with a jean i think in this one i would probably do a little half tuck just to give myself a little bit more shape i've got that nice wide neckline but i also love this back to literally any color in the back pant. So pretty with the blue, fun kind of holiday spirit with the red, can't go wrong with the black. And then throw on a little loafer and you're cozy, cozy, good to go. Now an alternate to this sweater that I think is so fun that just came in that kind of reminds me in like the best way possible of a sweater that my grandfather would wear. Do you remember these like from the 80s? They had like, they had like horn toggle buttons is this fabulous sweater from BB Dakota, Cotton Base Gang. So nice and lightweight. Again, that kind of polo neckline, similar to what I have on now, but done in a button. This is lightweight enough that you can slip it on underneath a blazer, which would be so chic, so fun, and also a shorter length, so an easy one to wear back to that wider leg pant. True to size on this one. In that same like cozy, cozy vibe is this sweater just sent this out in our email blast today and it's worthy of a second look because of all the color detail. How beautiful is that? Shades of blue, shades of camel, shades of cream. One of my favorites and I think why it's so great is it looks good with a lighter wash jean. It looks good with a medium wash jean. It also looks fantastic back to an olive and makes it like brings out a whole new color or dresses itself up back to black turtleneck easy easy fun one this is so so soft this would be a great one for me one for you i know you still have people on your list and last but not least for those who want a lightweight sweater fun fun sweater here from john and jen almost i call this kind of a camel a little bit of camel a little bit of animal had a baby in this nice fine gauge sweater so for those of you that are in southern states or are traveling and becoming a snowbird this winter, this is an easy one to throw on on those chillier evenings. I was just looking at my friend Shannon who just moved to Texas and she was wearing a vest for the first time so she's been down there and I was like, oh, the temperatures have finally dropped for her and I was thinking about her and this would be such an easy sweater to throw on because it's not too heavy but still gives you that fun, cozy feeling. And again, back to a lighter wash jean, how cute would this be? Dress it up with that great little heeled loafer that we love or a sneaker or a little booty would be fabulous done and done okay the account down is officially on any more questions before just say, yay, texas. i know right yay texas i know i'm watching you texas i see that it's hot down there i know i get it okay guys the countdown is on i mean we are officially in december the clock is a ticking I know you've got a million things on your plate, so let's make one of them really easy. What to wear when. Get yourself a white leg. You're not going to regret it. There's such a fun update to that denim wardrobe, which I know we are all still in need of after the past year and a half. Pair it back to a knit top, a fun blouse, or of course, an easy statement sweater. You've got your holiday look solved. Thanks so much, everybody. We will see you soon. Take care.